Oh, hello back guys. I am going to play this game Amnesia. Based in a World War One bunker, you are now on your own. Learn, adapt, experiment and survive. So I'm completely on my own inside this World War One bunker. I am a fan of horror games, but I've heard this one's going to be quite jumpy and quite uh, scary. So... Let's jump into it and see what awaits us in this World War Amnesiatic Bunker. Right, so first things first, I'm going to have a quick look around, see if we can get anything I could do with some, I'm guessing some ammunition or a handheld, something to, something to fight off if there is any sort of monsters in this, which I'm guessing there's going to be. Nothing else on that table. Let's see if we can get through this door. We're through. Nothing on here. Oh man, even the creaks of the doors just get you get you jumpy a bit. Let's just follow the light for a bit. Man, there's some bangs as well. Could do with a torch. I think the first thing I need to find is some sort of torch. Can't get in there. We're in this one. What's this? Right, we've got something. And a note. What's that? What did I just pick up? Let's have a look. I don't think there's anything else in here. Can't get in this yet. What's this what he's holding up? Some sort of crucifix or something to keep the evil away? Let's have a look, let's see what it is. Go in his inventory. A flashlight. Right, hand. Oh, what did that say? Hand. It's not coming on. Did it say hand pulled? Is it an authentic World War One flashlight? Hand cranked. Right, so pull. Pull down Y to hand crank. Ah, oh, that's cool. I like that. Definitely needed that because I cannot see a thing without it. Oh, marks on the wall. Somebody trying to get it, get free, get uh, out of the bunker. Oh, it's freaking me out already. I'm just expecting something to jump out on me. I'm guessing that little lamp in the bottom corner is when it's saving. There's holes everywhere. Ooh, blood. Oh, do I want to go through here? Someone's... Oh. Oh, man, so that runs out quite quick. There's someone in here. Someone's talking. Army. <laughs> Thought I was the last one. We're caught down here. Uh, the red fucking officers ran and blew the exit behind them. You want to escape. You need to blow it back open. There's dynamite in the arsenal. Ah, and a handle to trigger it somewhere in the expedition site. Get them, and you can make it out. Oh, shit. That thing, it's coming for me. Oh, what the hell Here, was that? Take this. Finish me off. Please. I want to die at the hands of a border soldier, not that monster. There's ammo in the pantry. Get it. Do the job, please. Right, so I've got to get ammo from the pantry to uh, finish this guy off. He's given me a gun, which is good. Could do with saving that ammo, really, but yeah, he's asked me to um, to finish him off, so I'm going to have to see if it loads anything else. Where's the ammo? In this box? He said something about dynamite as well, so I need to get some dynamite to get his way out, find his way out. Ah, oh, this must be where ammo is. Here we go. Two boxes full. Oh, needed that. Just got to figure out how to load the gun. Oh, there we go. Get it back out. Right, let's get this gun loaded. Two boxes. Oh. Well, that saved my ammunition because he's a goner. Let's get it loaded because I don't want that coming back. Oh, two? I thought it meant two boxes full. Two bullets. Great. 
don't know where that guy went. Did he get dragged through the hole? Some more. No, that's his blood, isn't it? God knows. Right, so he's told us to go and fetch the dynamite. There's holes everywhere. Does that mean they're just going to come out and suddenly get me? Oh, it's so creepy. I'll just stay quiet for a bit and just have a listen. Just the little noises you keep hearing are just freaking me out because it's pitch black in my house as well. I'm gonna have to shoot this lock. I didn't really want to waste a bullet, well I got two, but I'm gonna have to shoot it to get through because this lamp is useless. That's about ten seconds. But there's bangs everywhere, so I just want to move to the next bit. Can we get through here? We can, we're in. Like some mad scientist coat on the side there. Got some more stuff here to collect. Dog tag. Batiste. Another note. I'll have to read all these at some point. See what they are. What's that? A can of fuel or a battery or something? I need some light, man. It's pitch black. What's this? Storage chest. I don't need that yet. Right, so I'm guessing this is going to be like the central hub. The safe zone. Where? What's this? Right, so that saves your game. So we've lit the light. We're safe. This is like a little safe zone. We've got a storage chest. It's a shame I can't take that light with me. We've got a map there. Storage chest. And I'm guessing this is just kind of a little safe zone to just keep nipping back to when, uh, when you want to rest your heart a little bit. Do need to read these letters though eventually. Says the rat problem has not got any better recently. So there must be a new policy put in place where we burn the bodies. So they're going to be burning the bodies because the rats are now going after the wounded. So I'm guessing that might be my enemy, the rats maybe. I hope it's not like a plague's tail. Them rats are a bit of a pain in the arse. But uh, what's this? Can we get through here? Button. No. Looks like it's got a little lock on the top. It has, right, so we need a code. So I'm guessing this is going to be like a safe zone. This is my map. That's where we are at the top. We need to probably figure all this out. Is this going to be like a level? We need to get out of this bunker, this first bit. Try and find everything we can. Get through all the doors. This is going to be the central hub where I uh, generator. Where I'm guessing I get this generator going. And then we'll uh, try and find a way of getting through this door. So how do we get this generator going? What's that? Stopwatch. Another dead body. Oh, man. Dog tags. Ruffalo. Have I picked them up? Let's put them back down again. Do I leave them there? Looks like you can't take them with you. Right, so another can of fuel, which I'm guessing I'm going to need for this generator. Reminds me of Silent Hill. It must be something to do with the light. Soon as the torch went off, I just heard loads of rattling. Um, I don't know what this stopwatch is for. Uh, let's go back to the generator. There must be a way of getting the generator going. I had some petrol cans, but I don't know why I didn't get it moving. Gone in. 
Did that pour anything in? Did that pour anything in? Right, so both cans of fuel are in. Does that mean we have light? Nothing's happening. My stopwatch is still the same. Oh, do I have to turn the generator on? Lever. Pull. Oh, we're in. We have light. We have light and it's setting the timer. Right, so that's how long we've got to the light goes out. Right, I'm going to go quiet. Let's enjoy this last little bit. Get these lights put on and just enjoy the ambient sounds of the horrifying bunker. So that's the exit. I need the dynamite for the exit to get out of this hellhole. that that's a grenade can't get past that can I I could shoot it but I've got one bullet left I want to use the bullet for that I need to I could do with a bullet to blow the doors as well because obviously blowing the doors gets you to the next bit where am I it just keeps going pitch black doing it I'm wasting my bullet on this we're opening up the next part here we go guys let's move on let's move on in this story Just had a little wander around. I think I need some more fuel. I need to keep topping up this uh, generator. Blew the grenade. This, uh, then it just went pitch black. I've got one more can left. Don't know what you do when you run out of cans of fuel. What am I meant to do then? Walk around in dark. As soon as it goes dark, it's um, it's horrifying, which is kind of the point of the game. God, I'm even struggling to pull the old handle. But yeah, I've got most of this uh, this bit unlocked now. I've um, opened up the doors. There's just two more that I can't get through. And I read the note, and I probably should have read the notes at the beginning. I read the note, and there where it's circled is where I need to get, and they're the only doors I haven't even opened. So I need to try and find a way of opening them now. We've no ammunition and no explosives, so let's see if we can do that but I've got no petrol left my light uh, I have to keep cranking it goes pitch black and I feel like something's hunting me it keeps walking on the boards above and the floor keeps giving way uh, just make sure I'm going the right way it is left and right isn't it uh, the floorboards keep moving and it's freaking me out So that's the first door I need to get in. I've got some explosives here, but I've got nothing to light it with. And there's another door to the side as well, but they both lock. Ah, 
How do I not know it's this? It's this. Oh, fuck no. That just broke off. I feel like the more I'm getting into this, the can I smash door with this? The more I'm getting into this, I'm, um, I'm just making more of a mess of it. Or is it, am I doing the right thing? What the hell is happening here? I need to get through this door. Sounds like there's something behind that I don't actually want to get to, but I think that's the the door I've got to go through. But, uh, see what I mean? What the hell was that? Do I even want to get in there? I don't know if turning the lights on kind of indicates a safe zone. I'm not 100% sure, but there is lights you can turn on, and obviously the game seems to revolve around light as your saviour. I knew this was going to get bad now I've run out of petrol. I knew it! We need to find some more petrol and move on. Oh, I've got a grenade. We will blast our way through. We'll get through the, this door eventually and we will blast our way into part two.